Ong Tae Lam returns once again in another explosive outing with the rescue. If Operation Mekon and Operation Red Sea has proven anything, it is that Dong Tae Lam is a master in crafting visceral action scenes. The rescue sees Eddie Pang's goal leading a search and rescue team. After an oil rig rescue which leads to a member incurring an injury, this member decides to leave the team. A female pilot is sent in as replacement but her ideals are at odds with goal. The team goes through training and missions together. A civilian plane crashes into open sea and the team are sent in for a rescue operation, losing a team member in the process. Goal is saddened by this fact and having to spend time with his son, he opts to leave the job. Our team gets a call to rescue civilians from a cruiser containing highly combustible material and Goal is brought back into the job. Deemed the Hong Kong equivalent of Michael Bay, Dante Lam loves his big action set pieces. The rescue delivers in abundance with an opening set on an oil rig set ablaze and the rescue team having to fight their way to save the civilians. Midway we have an oil tanker truck rushing down a fast running river. Following this is a plane crash into open sea and ending things off is a shipping vessel that is about to explode. Also we have a training montage thrown into the mix with disaster after disaster it can feel a bit like overload at times and I can't help but feel that the film would have been better served focusing on one or two incidents. With so much action the film suffers the most with the story. You have friendship, loyalty and romance in there but it never feels fully realised to make the audience care. Take for example a new female pilot joining the team. The preceding moments are obvious that our leads will have a romance. Sure the moments that try to rile up emotions work but that's because it plays it safe with punctuating soundtrack that tugs at the heartstrings. The biggest addition is probably Zhang Jingyi who plays Eddie Pan's son. Though Dante played with the idea of fatherly figure in Unbeatable, here Pang plays the father. Yet as much as Dante tries to make the relationship feel relevant, it feels rather hollow, being lost in the host of ideas that Dante has thrown into the film. Eddie Pung is gung-ho with the action, but he lacks chemistry with newcomer Zhang Jingyi playing his son. Most of the film's comedy is played out with the father and son relationship and can at times feel at odds with everything else. Sin Jile gives probably the strongest performance, but she's rather a blank slate of a character. Then you have a host of interchangeable team members and you'll be forgiven if you forget their names. The action scenes are exciting and there's variety involved. The biggest moment is the plane crash in which the filmmakers purchased an actual plane and dunked it into a massive water tank in which they shot a uh, Titanic. The scene is exciting and features impressive camera movements, visual effects and practical stunts. The crash zooms and blistering edits are still present but that's expected from a Dante Lam film. The visual effects is brilliant, only faltering in minor occasions and the soundtrack is top notch with times invoking the pumping Jason Bourne score. We have self-sacrifice, lost loves, uh, life-threatening ailments, romance, comedy and action and it's all too much for a two plus hour film. The film is unique in the aspect that it deals with Chinese sea and rescue team and some impressive aerial and sea action. Dante Lam should be commended for tackling a new IP and he delivers on the action but the film lacks an engaging story.